So the objectives of IAEA safeguards, if we take a little closer look, objective, the first objective is timely detection of diversion of significant quantities of nuclear material from peaceful nuclear activities to the manufacture of nuclear weapons or of other nuclear explosive devices or for purposes unknown and deterrence of such diversion by the risk of early detection. Uh, the second objective is the detection of undeclared nuclear material and activities in the state. So those two objectives work together to prevent further proliferation from civilian nuclear programs. So now let's take a look at IAEA safeguards system implementation and the four general phases of safeguard system implementation. The first begins with collecting and evaluating information. Uh, what facilities does a state have? What activities are they conducting? And then from that information, developing a safeguards approach. How are safeguards applied at the facility or facilities within a state? And then once a safeguards approach has been developed and applied, uh, the IEA can move on to planning, conducting, and evaluating safeguards activities, whether that's inspections, other methods to verify the non-diversion and misuse of nuclear facilities. And then from those safeguards activities, the IEA can draw safeguards conclusions. Uh, is the state uh, living up to its treaty obligations and safeguards obligations? Or is there some non-compliance or some inconsistency? Hopefully there isn't. And then we, the IEA goes back to collecting and evaluating information and back through this, this wheel of uh, safeguards activities of the IEA. And there are specifically several components of the IAEA safeguard system that the system involves. Uh, the first being nuclear material accountancy, and that is simply accounting for all the nuclear materials that are in a facility or state. The next is containment and surveillance of nuclear facilities. Design verification, uh, how is a nuclear facility designed? How does the material flow through the facility? Are there any pathways that the material could flow through that are unsafeguarded uh, by the system that is in place? If there are, then the IAEA needs to uh, reevaluate its safeguards approach and develop safeguards for those unsafeguarded pathways. This also includes the reports, the operator reports that the operators, nuclear facility operators declare to the IAEA accounting uh, for all their nuclear material, where it is, um, the different facilities that are within the state. And then another component is the inspections that the IAEA conducts to verify the nuclear material accountancy and verify the non-diversion or misuse of nuclear facilities.